What's going on everybody? This is More Power here. Um, welcome back to the channel and today, um, I know that wasn't my normal intro, but this isn't a normal video that I make. Um, I've always been a COD enthusiast since I've done, since I've started my channel, since before I've been a YouTuber. Um, but today I just wanted to, um, talk to you guys about something that I feel really strongly about and that I, that I feel that Activision is doing us wrong. Um, the gameplay you're seeing in the background is, uh, some, some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. I wanted to make it Black Ops 3 gameplay because the focus of this video will be on Black Ops 3. But before we get into that, we're going to take it back a couple of years to, or back a year from Black Ops 3 to, uh, Advanced Warfare and, uh, Sledgehammer Games getting their first ever groundbreaking Call of Duty title, uh, or solo title, um, that actually introduced two groundbreaking um, in-game things that have, you know, shaped Call of Duty over the last few years. One being the advanced movement with boost jumping, sliding, things of that nature, and supply drops. Now, the former of the two is being done away with because the Call of Duty community has been so outspoken that they are, that Activision is finally listening, sort of, and, uh, going back to the roots of Call of Duty for 2017, who actually Sledgehammer is going to be making this year's Call of Duty, as everybody knows, and we should be getting um, some kind of information on that rather soon. But that's a that's a topic for another day. And now the latter of the two supply drops uh, that has been a hot bit of topic for Call of Duty YouTubers, Call of Duty fans, the community for the last three years. Now, my feelings on supply drops are. I didn't play Advanced Warfare, so I didn't get the original supply drops and things like that. I didn't I didn't do that. I played Black Ops 3 and when supply drops came in, I was like, okay, this this looks cool. You know, we could this could be something that could be revolutionary for Call of Duty. And Treyarch swore up and down that it was only gonna be cosmetics. There would only be, you know, a, a variance for attachments, camos, personalization for the characters and that you know was the case for about a month and then activision decided to get all money bags and go mr krabs on us um and decided to introduce weapons into the uh supply drops now the melee weapons i mean i'm not too i don't really care about i'm i'm okay with them being in there because they're not stat changing they're they're basically reskins of the combat knife and they just they look cool some of them do, some of them don't. Um, but this um, this feeling of you know them putting in them telling us one thing and then doing another has only expanded over the last year because you know Call of Duty isn't the main or Black Ops Three isn't the main title this year. It's Infinite Warfare, and you know this is going into Infinite Warfare Two. But with Black Ops Three, they've They've had a year, they've, um, they've added supply drops, or they've added content to supply drops periodically over the year, and now, I mean, I think it's been since June or July, they've been doing it monthly, and what, what my thing is, is they, they throw out the, the hook, they're the fishermen, Activision is the fishermen, and we're the fish, they're trying to reel us in, they're trying to get our attention, they're trying to come and, they're trying to catch us, they're trying to catch us so that we will play their game, and we'll spend money on their game and on their micro DLC. And I guess the cosmetic items weren't enough. I guess we we got um, a bored of the taste of the the uh, cosmetic worms that they were throwing out to us. So they had to spice things up. They had to juice up supply drops. So they added weapons, and then they added. Re revisioned weapons like we get revised DLC or we get maps that are revised as DLCs we got revised uh, guns to Black Ops 3 we got the MP40 we got the PPSH we have the Khalil with the M16 we have the Peacekeeper you know we have all these guns that are classic weapons in Call of Duty that were like okay here we go we're giving you guys the guns that you guys want back in Call of Duty but you have to get them out of supply drops and that's all fine and dandy you know you can grind out crypto keys to be able to get supply drops but here's 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 the the catch you only get one or two crypto keys a game and if you do well you'll get maybe three 
So you're gonna spend hours, hours, days upon days, weeks upon weeks to get up enough enough uh, crypto keys to be able to, to amount to anything. And then once you spent all that time, you finally go to do a supply drop opening and see if you can get, you know, the peacekeeper that you really want or the MP40 that you really want or the Galil that you really want and you don't get it. Well, here's the reason why. Because they have diluted these supply drops down so much with the cosmetic crap that some of it looks good. Like the camos look really good. Some of them do. The the taunts and gestures are not so much. And then you got these uh, emblems and attachment variants that just are atrocious. That don't do anything for the guns in these supply drops. And you're just diluting the chance of getting a weapon that already has a minuscule. And I do mean minuscule drop rate. I don't know the exact drop rate, but... It's already low enough that you're, even if the weapons were just in there, it'd be really, really rare to get a weapon. And they're just adding on and piling on and piling on more crap so that you, you'll you spend more and more money trying to get these weapons. Whereas when the game first came out, you had a better chance of getting the first round of DLC weapons than now. You, you barely can get anything out of these supply drops and you're spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars to buy these supply drops. And you get nothing. Well, I'm here to say that we have been, you know, we've been trapped. We we fell into the trap that is Activision supply drops. And this may, you know, like I, I think I've already said this, this may get me, you know, blacklisted from a VIP list for Call of Duty. But I really don't care. I mean, yeah, I would love to go to Treyarch Studios. I'd love to go to Sledgehammer Studios and be able to play content early and give you guys content early for the channel. But... I'm not going to do it at the cost of alienating my fans and alienating my fans and things like in the community that I am trying to build and I'm not knocking YouTubers for doing it. Um, I'm friends with a couple of YouTubers that go to uh, over Twitter that go to these Call of Duty VIP events and these guys are really cool guys. I just I feel like and they're realizing it too. I've seen their videos on it. I'm not going to mention any names. But I've seen their videos on it, spending hundreds of dollars trying to get a weapon that is their favorite weapon in Call of Duty. And they still don't get it. My thing is, we've got to take a stand. We've got to start digging our way out of this hole that is supply drops. Because this is going to ruin Call of Duty. And it's going to get to the point where they keep adding on and adding on. And all you're going to get out of supply drops are broken dreams and what ifs you know what if i had spent 20 more dollars what if i'd opened one more supply drop would you be able to you know would i be able to get it and it's it's like they say with these potato chips you just can't you can't just eat one it's like with supply drops you just can't open one you have to open more and more and more it's like we're going to a casino and we're gambling away trying to hit the jackpot and you spend you go in there with five thousand dollars and then you come out twenty five thousand dollars in debt that's how it feels to me and me personally i'm not a gambler but i felt i've fallen into the trap of getting these weapons on my main account on the playstation i've i've gotten some weapons but only out only because i got lucky in some crypto keys i've done supply drop openings where i bought cod points i've bought the money to get these little doubles and the great thing is, is they need to bring back that 100 supply drop bundle. That, I was seeing more people getting so many weapons out of that bundle, or bring us a triple play bundle, where we, you know, we can grind out, there's a, there's an, a, there's a tangible goal that we can grasp onto, to be able to get a weapon. It may not be the weapon we want, but we get a weapon. Like the 75 wins, or the 100 wins, triple play bonuses, spending you know you could either spend x amount of crypto keys or spend you know x amount of cod points to get these weapons or to get these bundles where you have at least a chance increase if you're and another thing is if you're going to add more and more of nonsense crap to these supply drops increase the drop rate of these weapons i know that it's a business and i know they got to make money but activision you make billions of dollars from millions to billions of dollars 
off the Call of Duty community for the crap that we get, like the crappy supply drops we get. And I know this is going to go on forever, so I'm probably just going to have to stop. But I just want you guys to know that this is what I've been feeling. This is what, it's been on my mind. And hopefully Activision will give us some kind of marketplace or some kind of, you know, cog system like MWR has and Infinite Warfare has to be able to craft the weapons or do like Sledgehammer has done with Advanced Warfare after that and just say, hey, this is, we're going to give you the guys these weapons for playing a game. You know, we'll give you the supply drop that'll give you the weapon. But something's got to change, um, and it's got to change soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, um, or if you enjoyed my content, please hit the subscribe button, guys, because I'm going to do a giveaway at 100 subs. And, uh, you know, as always, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Bye.